and from the Useless Crafter. All right, we're trying something totally new today. So I have new views, new cameras, um, so hopefully it's okay. But I have something super cool to show you today. Um, I try to keep track of, you know, the comments and the questions that I get. And one of the things that I get a lot is, um, especially when I'm doing my acrylic signs, is how do you get the flourishes before and after the word? And a lot of times you will buy a font or download a font for free and it looks like it should come with it, but then you don't know how to access it, so you don't know how to put it into design space. So we came, my friend Allie and I, we came up with something super, super cool, at least we think so. All right, so you gotta go to Creative Fabrica. In the search bar, type in flourishes and here it is. So it's called Flourishes and Arrows. Um, and I'm going to download it for the first time. So, okay, so I'm going to download. Now, I do have um, a membership with them, which is why I can get whatever font, whatever files. Um, if you choose to go the membership route, which I, there's a couple reasons why I would recommend it. Um, please use my link. Uh, you can also use my discount code. It's the useless crafter 30, and that gets you 30% off the membership every month for the rest of your life. <laughs> so um, why I like it is because the amount of fonts that you have available on here is amazing. Hands down, blows design space access out of the water. The other cool thing is all of your fonts um, and your images, they allow for commercial usage. So you see that right here. So you don't have to keep track of things. You can use it in your design and then go and sell it. The other thing is there are a lot of images and of course the fonts, anything that you take from here and you download, then we can go into Inkscape and create an offset. And um, that makes for better banners, better cake toppers. I mean, just anything that you're personalizing, it's so much easier to read when there's an offset behind it. So um, I love it. Now, if you like Design Space, which I also have the Access membership, don't get me wrong, um, but any images that I have from there, I can't get it out of design space into Inkscape to create the offset. So I hope that makes sense to you. All right, so once you download it, you're gonna go over here because we gave you different formats. So you need to go into your folder, and I'll bring that over. So here's my folder, and I'm gonna go into Downloads. So you wanna double click on Flourishes and Arrow, and you want the SVG file. Now there may be reasons why you want the PNG file or you know whatever other file, um, but I'm going to grab this, I'm going to put it into my desktop because that's where I'm going to remember that I put it, okay? All right, so now let's go into design space. And I already got this ready for you. I typed out hello in three different fonts so you can see it still works with any font. It's super cool. All right, <laughs> go to upload and upload image, browse, and you have to remember where you put it. And so it's on your desktop, flourishes an arrow, double click on it. And here it is. Um, name it whatever you're going to remember because you're going to have to find it next time. Um, save. And then click on it and insert image. Okay, so you have three sets that you can use, but this top one is very cool because you can add whatever you want to it. Okay, so I'm going to show you that in a second. But what you want to do is you kind of want to match up the width of the letter right here, the O, with this thing so that it connects easily. So this looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna ungroup this for now, okay? I'm gonna grab this first one. I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna grab this first set over. Let's do this. And I'm gonna move this over a little bit. So all you're gonna do is, you know, add it somewhere here, and it doesn't matter where you add it, just whatever visually looks good to you. I'm going to do this. Now what you don't want to do is just leave it like this. Now if you're happy with that, you're going to grab the three items, the hello and the front and back of those flourishes, and you're going to weld. Because then when you go to cut this file, it is one fluid piece. There's not going to be any cut lines here. See, like if, if you were painting, it would all flow, right? Okay, so there's one. Let's try this one out. So we gave you a couple options. I thought, you know, it's cute. Like sometimes you want hearts on it. Um, so here's this one. And if you don't like this because it's a little uneven, 
end, this one's a little bit higher, this one's a little bit lower, you could just move this down to kind of match it, okay? And then grab all three items and weld. Look how cute that is. Okay, and then this last one, I like the arrows myself. So let's do this one here and this one here. And then again, you're going to grab this and weld. All right. So I'm going to show you now, let's say, you know, we added the hearts and the arrows, but on this one, the top one, you can add other things. So let's go to images and let's do, I'm, I'm still on my hearts kick. So let's just say we did this one. Um, and let's say you really like this one. So I'm going to insert that. So all you do is or whatever. You can turn it around so that it's connecting like with that arrow. Actually, I don't like that. So I'm going to turn this around so it's it's like a beginning arrow or a beginning heart and end heart, right? Grab the whole thing and weld. So now what's cool is it doesn't matter which font you use. Any font, you can just upload our flourishes. Um, it's now in images, right? So now you can type in flourishes. That's that's what I have it saved as, right? Um, and I want, let's see, the type. I think ownership, I'm going to want uploaded. Yes, so they're mine, right? So you can easily find yours. And you can just, this top one is easier to, you know, obviously add new little things to it, which is what we did up here. But it, you know, really, it doesn't matter what font you use. So let's say um, I used Floristia, one of my favorite fonts. Oops. <laughs> you want to search for it here. <laughs> um, and let's say I used, I'm going to type in my name. Um, whoa, it's not the one I want. Oh, I don't have my fonts on here. I'm using a different computer. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not the one. Okay, I'm going to try this one. So this is not connected yet, right? So I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to connect it myself. I'm going to move the N over to the A. Then I'm going to, let's see, ungroup this. And I'm going to use this one. But you see how the end of my N is a little bit thicker? So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger until I feel like it matches. And that's about right. It's a little bit small still. But see how it connects a little bit more uh, smoothly? And then I'm going to do this. And then grab the three items and weld. And there you have it. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it's so easy, right? Okay, I'm going to make everything smaller so that it fits on a, on a cut, like on a mat, so I can show you what this looks like when we go to make it, okay? And I'm going to delete this. And did I tell you the file is a dollar? So it's not a lot, but it will save you so much time and until you get better, until you really know which flourishes you want to use and how to add them. And if you have like a lot of fonts available to you um, with flourishes, then, then that's all good. But until then, for a dollar, you could do this. <laughs> all right. So this is what it looks like. It's ready to go. Um, if you have other ideas, please just drop them if you want us to do something with it. Uh, we'll try. Allie and I are really experimenting with different files and images and all that stuff. So it's just, you know, how we're growing. And we, we use your feedback. So let me know if you like this, if you don't like it, you think it's crazy, I'm ripping you off, <laughs> whatever it is. Post your comments on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Um, and also post your request here. I would love to help you out with something. All right. Bye, guys. Stop recording. <laughs>